Hi, my name is Andrew Minoski, and I am a senior at San Jose State University. I am Paris Kachi, and I'm also a senior at San Jose State University. Today we're going to review the Tesla project, a software tool designed to measure the electrical consumption of computers on a Windows network as a function of their components. The Tesla project is designed to reduce the overall carbon footprint of a small business or other institution that has multiple networks by helping people to analyze where they're sinking a lot of power, where they have a minimal power utilization efficiency, um, and in so give ideas on where they can improve their power, uh, their PUE, and hopefully you know, reduce their impact on the environment. Uh, the Tesla project is in a very neonatal state, so what you're going to see looks very debuggy and is in a completely alpha build. So, you know, reviewers be warned. So Tesla is comprised of two elements, a client-side service and an online website. In a few minutes I'll hand it off to Paris and you can talk a little bit about how the website works and what the functionality of it is. Um, so the client-side service, after a user signs up for Tesla, is downloaded onto their computer and run as a Windows service while uh, in the background. Um, it up asynchronously updates pertinent information about the user's current devices connected to their computer and their electrical consumption through, um, through HTTP requests and uh, HTTP post. So let's take a look at what it actually looks like. Again, this is a very, very early alpha build. This is not what it's going to look like. Um, so I'll click on account. So when a user installs uh, the client um, through a standard .NET installer, they'll have all this information populated for them. Um, we have the option of, the users can go in and change this information as they see fit, but it's not necessary. Usually this will be populated for them. And as we can see, it saves the state. Using WMI, uh, the Windows Management Interface, we're able to populate uh, Tesla's client with a lot of information. Um, basically, we can not only grab information such as the device IDs, we can also grab information such as uh, how many processors there are in the computer, the, uh, the clock speed of the processors, and using this, we can do some intelligent correlation between um, industry benchmarks on these types of uh, devices to determine how many the electrical power consumption of the computer as a whole. Now, we separate, of course, each device and are able to store information about how many watts that device you know, consumes. For example, on our computer, my Pentium 3 Xeon, which is actually a Core 2 Duo, it's kind of a funny little joke, um, is consuming 318 watts per hour. Now, of course, these statistics are actually not the real statistics. We're going to have to correlate these with industry benchmarks to do our intelligent correlation, of course, noting that differences in voltage and such. Um, so right now we're just populating with some random information. Once this is done, um, this would usually be done over uh, a period defined by the user, uh, hope, usually during some other time in which they're not using their computer. It's kind of like doing a backup to storage. Um, but we're going to manually post an update to the server right now. So, as we can see, we're able to first communicate and grab some information, noting that we're able to connect to the server and retrieve a user ID. This user ID isn't uh, visible to the user. It's actually a key used to communicate securely. Um, we'll wait a few moments here. Um, right now, the t and hey, look, the server updated. Um, so right now the server has information about our computer and including all the devices on it and the current uh, wattage that that computer is using, which at 778 watts per hour is a lot of power. So as Andy's client uh, investigates uh, all the data of one's computer, uh, the data will actually show up here on the Project Tesla website. So what you're looking at right now is a demo that's very debuggy. Um, looking uh, on the Project Tesla website. And so what, what we see here is the users that exist within the, um, the project. Uh, we can also create new users and we can also view and create new networks um, for each user uh, and all of that kind of good stuff. Not only that, we can see Andy's computer right here coming up. Woo! And this is his NetBIOS ID. 
So once we click on this, we can then see all of the different wattage and how long ago this data was recorded and all that good stuff. Um, in the future, we plan on making a really cool visualizer that'll plot all this data and show us statistical information about Andy's computer um, over time. Um, we also plan on, you know, JSifying it up, JavaScriptifying it up, and yeah, making it really cool. So going forward, we definitely have our work cut out for us. One of the big areas of improvement is to actually populate a wattage chart that indicates how much uh, electrical power is consumed per each one of the devices that we'll be measuring. Um, we're going to derive a lot of these information, uh, a lot of this information from uh, industry tech websites such as TechReport.com and Nantech. Tech. Uh, we're also going to be improving the user interface. Definitely, the look and feel is going to undergo significant renovation, and we're also going to implement a fa uh, flash-based visualizer for all the point in time information that we gather. Again, the client asynchronously over a certain period posts the information via an HTTP request. And what we want to do is grab all those point in time information, uh, pieces of information of electrical consumption, trend it over a certain period, and report these statistics both in an aesthetically pleasing way and statistically parsable way so that, inter um, so that individuals interested in cost uh, minimization or environmental studies can derive powerful use of these statistics. So this is Andrew Minoski. This is Paris Kachi. And thank you very much for watching our presentation on the Tesla project. And we hope you like what you see. Just remember that what you see right now is not as cool as what you could be seeing later if we get into the next round. Yeah.